Hey there everyone, I am Heather Allen, an associate member of the Antias Company, and I am here to make my Antias recipe video. It is Thanksgiving time, which means it's time to eat fattening food. But what it is, is a butternut squash and mushroom lasagna. Um, let's get this party started. Now you wanna cut about quarter inch slices of your uh, butternut squash, so you know, you use your knuckles and sort of use the one previous to sort of measure it out. They'll need a little more onion, so we'll just do our, do a little more, that should do it. And then you can just chop to your heart's delight. All right, so now we are moving on to uh, the first step, sauteing the onions and the mushrooms. So the first thing we do is we take some butter in true Julia Child fashion. It's a lot, it's about a half a stick. Melt that baby, do it over medium heat. So you wanna try to dump these in there. Onions are getting sort of nice and translucent. So now it is time to add the mushrooms. And the fun part about this is we whack the heat up a little bit. And I add these bad boys. But because I've jacked up the heat, we have to stir these a lot. And now, we dump this bad boy into a bowl. So now we're on to the squash portion. So here I have uh, two cups of vegetable stock. So I put the squash in there. And then we add about three table, it says three tablespoons of sage. I just kind of eyeball it. Same thing with chopped thyme. Get all this stuff mixed together. Get it to a simmer. I want to cook these until they are, you know, soft, but still retain their shape. And while we're doing that, we're going to work on the heart-stopping filling for this particular lasagna. 45 ounces of whole milk ricotta. Two cups of freshly grated mozzarella. I, I think it just tastes so much better when you grate it yourself. Grate it firm. Again, this is a lasagna. It's not like you have to be perfect, but eh, about a cup and a half of that should do it. Everybody's favorite. The freshly ground pepper. And then we sort of mix all of this together. And now that we're getting some of the other stuff, now we're getting it mixed to a certain degree. Now I can add my, let the rest of my sage and my thyme. No parsley involved. Sorry, Simon and Garfunkel. Rosemary. All right, so we're getting this kind of all um, mutched in. That is a famous word from my childhood that my mother invented. I don't exactly know what it is, but when you say the word mutched, I think we all know what I'm talking about. We add our eggs. Yeah, I, I always like to sort of add things in once a bit, one at a time. And now our last one. So as you can see, it's getting all incorporated. I'm gonna give it a little taste and more salt and pepper. I think that is ready to go. Sage brown butter. So I'm getting my pan pretty hot here. Slice up a little more sage. You know, you can just do a quick chiffonade of this. Let that melt for a minute. And now that enough of the butter is melted, I can start that. I add my sage. You wanna let it sit still long enough to do its thing, but you don't want to burn it. That mm -hmm. is brown butter. All right, so now for the last part, assembly. So first thing we do is oil this little bad boy here. Make sure you get the sides. So we scoop a bit of this into the bottom, your ricotta mixture. I'm just gonna sort of want to spread that out a little bit. Oh yeah, one here here and here and then I need to cover up that spot so I I broke one off a little bit so there's that now we add a little bit of sage brown butter so I just give it a quick little brush more ricotta mixture that'll do just fine now we go to the squash we layer our squash uh, now we have the mushroom mixture. The onions are kind of like my favorite part of this. Last but certainly not least, Rob's freshly grated. 
mozzarella. That is one layer, a few more to come. Um, and now I'm just going to sprinkle some Parmigiano. So now we're going to put this into the oven and we're going to bake this for about 35 minutes covered. And then we're going to take off the tin foil and bake for about another 25 till it's nice and bubbly. Here we go. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. As you can see, we decided to put this on a sheet pan because I overfilled this bad boy. <sighs> now we put it on our little trivets that look like jacks. And now, et voila. So here we have it. A perfectly sliced bit of the uh, butternut squash and mushroom lasagna, a little bit of garnish. And thank you all so much for watching. Um, Thank you so much for supporting Antius and everyone have a very happy Thanksgiving. We were going to freeze this. That's not happening.